Hello everyone and welcome to this session of module number 40. So in this session we will take a 3D movie and do the case study on it. So let's get started. As I have taken the movie called Bolt which has came in 2005 and we will discuss the process each and every step from pipeline to project to execution and to achievement. So, Walt Disney Animation Studio, lastly animated film Bolt, represent another milestone for the studio in the integration of stereoscopic 3D into the creative process and production pipeline. Disney lead to the charge into digital exhibition in 2005 with the release of Chicken Little in the Disney Digital. Chicken Little was turned as a post-conversion of the monoscopic film from an outside vendor. Disney supplied the CG scene geometric and monoscopic camera as well as the rendering image level that were used to create the final composite image. The vendor then created the alternate eye cameras with which they shot the reproject image data performing any required in painting to fill gaps in the image data that were exposed by the parallax. Little attempt was made to make creative use of stereoscopic depth. The primary goal of the process was to provide a comfortable viewing experience for the audience and towards the end, the dynamic range of the parallax was clamped at a very conservative time limits. Disney's next animated film, Meet the Robinson, released in March 2007, pushed the integration of stereoscopic 3D deeper into the studio's creative process. All through, Robinson also originated as a 2D film and was converted to a 3D by an outside vendor. The studio kept the creation of the alternate eyes camera stereoscopic layout process in-house in order to maintain creative control of the 3D depth. This enabled the depth to be scripted in a manner that would support it and enhance the narrative of this film. Later, the use of the internal inextation settings or default parallax limits, the depth was varied dynamically to mirror the emotions content of the film for a short period of time. So, the step of the integration of the stereoscopic process at the studio is represented by the animated film. Bolt is the story of a Hollywood dog, unaware that he is starring in the television series about a canine superhero. Having been led to believe the adventure and the power are real, when Bolt is accidentally transported across the country, he must try to make his way home with the help of Ali, Cat and Hamster. While coming to grab in the fact that he is a real dog, Bolt released November 12, 2008 was the form its intercept produced for both 2D, 3D, theoretically exhibition. Now, we will discuss about the project philosophy. So, stated simply, our philosophy on Bolt was to optimize the 3D experience for both in its immersive effect and the comfort of the viewer. While using depth as a storytelling tool, it seems that cinema for the matter storytelling is generally has had a history of innovations that tends towards higher and higher degrees of immersive. Storytelling has evolved from the spoken words of the recount huddle around the fire to the stage performance. To the cinema of today. Cinema in turn has evolved from the silence back and white to talkies, color, widescreen and surrounded sound. Each advance attempt to place the audience more secretly with the trick of the story. Phil Emus and now digital display technology had advanced in resolution and dynamic range to make the alternative reality being present by the filmmaker a more compiled illusion, even non-displayed related film innovations such as the zoom lens or the steady camera represent a technology aim at pulling the viewer deeper into the experience. Now the second process is the managing depth. So in this stereoscopic layout process, the task of the cinematographer can be distilled to manage depth efficiently. 
for the management of debt to be effective, the process had to be aligned with the twin prongs of our philosophy for making a 3D film enhance storytelling and comfortably viewing. Now, the third process is the depth score. The commitment to using stereoscopic depth as a storyteller tool decided that there must be a constant plan for the application of depth that somehow would mirror the narrative content of the film. A depth score analogs to a music store is however is very crucial if it reflects the emotion content over time. In order to guide the application of depth through the score is a constant fashion. So, the use of two somehow literally visu visual metaphors. The first was the emotion impact of the film content was proportionally to the stereoscopic depth being presented. The second was the emotion distance we feel from that what we see transferring on the screen is proportionally to our separate from in in a 3D space. Of particularly significance to the emotion distance is the relationship of the subject of the point of zero parallax. The screen at the depth the frameless defines a window into the scene that can be linked to the uh, process arc of the theater. The prescribed approximation of the audience is much greater when a character crosses the frame line and the risk of the carrying the analog too far is of the audience cider. Following these two rules provide the framework for a constant 3D style for the film. These rules may not be have unavailability psychology validity, but it is my belief that the audience will unconsciously learn to ascribe associate meaning of the particular stylized choices made through the courses of a film, provided that they are present in constant fashion. Display space stereo parameters is the fourth step. One of the techniques that were invaluable in uh, order to achieve the stereoscopic depth to follow our depth score was the adoption of our 3D rig to work within display space parameters. The actual uh, disparts uh, dis that were optimized to present to the viewer rather than concern them themselves with the conversional stereographic parameters such as interlaced distance or converging angles. The camera operator could be in the same language being employed by the depth screen. Only the display space parameter of near parallax for parallax and screen position were needed to configure the stereo rig. Software would automatically map the parameter to camera space distance and then configure the in interlaxed distance and converging angle to conform to this mapping. So the fifth process is the composition shifting. The first technique of the fact that the insta of the board pipeline was the multi-layer rendering. This approach has been adopted to the studio because of the flexibility it afforded in controlling the look of the final composite image, what is the mean of 3D was the Adbil to adjust the placement of the depth of individual render layer through a horizontal offset of the final composite. This allow us to take a shot that has been composed with a telephoto lens and set the parallax well beyond our comfort limits. So, the fact that the degree of blur or deep focusing is related to depth has been used as a means of adding back the third dimension to monoscopic photography, essentially making depth of field a type of synthetic depth cue. By controlling the effect within a short uh, track, focus was created simultaneously with the sharp focus that the depth plan where the viewer's eyes would be covered. The use of depth of field has become a such a standard part of the grammar of the film that even in computer graphics and the animated where we are free from the physical constraint of real lenses, depth of field is often simulated in order to provide this photographic depth used to the viewer. So the pipeline overview 
is one of the most primary design criteria for the bold pipeline was that we uh, we would to be delivered two version of the film one for monoscopic exhibition and one for the stereoscopic exhibition to optimize for store and rendering requirements a goal was established to use the main or monoscopic camera as the left eye of the stereo camera rig to the majority of shots for shots uh, where the needs of 2d and 3d could not be recount a unique left eye would be built for the stereo pair such process between the two version of the film was occasionally by depth of field adjustment which required the generation of a new left eye imagine with matching focus or when to reduce reviability we were focused to paint out a feature appearing in only the left eye so finally what we have concluded through the use of the techniques that i have outlined i believe that we succeeded in creating bold into a stereoscopic film that delivered a satisfying immersive 3d experience yet avoided the eye strain that is too often associated with the medium the fact that every store was a 3d form from the interception helped me immersively towards this end finally uh, as you can see that we have just examined all the process of a particular 3d film so each and every step is quite different and also very important with each other hope you understand the same